Most people complain that elevations made in Revit look ugly and flat. And that is true with the out of the box elevation. So if you create just regular elevations, it might look just like this. And for sure, it doesn't look good at all. But by tweaking a few settings, you can make your elevations look something like this. So much more punch and with a sense of depth. So let's modify this elevation so it looks a bit more like this one. The first step is to activate the Silhouettes tool. So you're going to click on the, the cube icon right here and go to Graphic Display Options. And here, you're going to find the Silhouettes menu, click on the drop down, and you got to pick a line that is thicker than the default one. So let's try out this one. That's good enough. The second tip is to use the smooth lines with anti-aliasing option. You simply need to check this box right here and click on apply. You can see this removes the staircase effect, the pixelated effect from the elevation and generally makes it look much better. The next step is to activate the shadows. There are two different ways to activate the shadows. You can go in the same menu, check this box that says cast shadows. And the second way to do it is to click on the sphere icon with the globe right here. We can see that by default, the shadows are too intense. We're going to go back to the graphic display options menu and go to lighting right here. And now we can adjust the shadows intensity. So we're going to switch this from about 80 to about 20 is usually pretty good. So that sounds about right. So now we already have an elevation that is uh, decent looking. The next step that you can do, the next step is to use depth queuing. You go again to the graphic display options and click on this box that says show depth, right? And you can see the element. If I was to show you the 3D view of this uh, little building, you can see this element is further away, which means that it could appear uh, more pale, right? So by activating the depth queuing options and by playing with the setting, you can adjust how light and how much gray you want these elements to appear compared to the elements that are closer to the beginning of the elevation. So play with the settings until you get a result that you like. That sounds about right. So already for a construction document elevation, it looks good. Maybe you could remove the shadows and it would still look about fine. There's another setting that you can use. It is ambient shadows. I would say though, for most black and white elevation, the setting is usually too intense and you cannot control the intensity. So I don't like to use it with black and white views. Now let's try to switch to using colors instead. I recommend using the consistent colors visual style. So let's switch to it. And you can see this is going to use the colors for the materials. This is great if this is an elevation for presentation documents. And now if you're using this option, it might be a good idea to check out the show ambient shadows. You can see it creates kind of a diffuse shadows uh, similar to a cloudy sky. And when using colored views, it actually looks pretty good, especially compared to black and white views. There's a setting you can use that is called Line Works. If you go to the Modify tab, the setting is right here. You can also use Shortcut LW. And here you can select one line style. This is for fine tuning. It's not a tool I typically recommend for construction documents, but if you want to create an elevation for a presentation, you can pick one of the line and make some adjustments. For example, I think that these lines are a bit too thick. So I click on this line with a more thin line styles, and then I can drag the dots to ensure that uh, the line doesn't extend. You can see right now this line is extend, so I drag it so it doesn't look too weird. And I can repeat the process for all the lines that I think are too thick as of now. And this allows me to have more fine tuning over the look of the elevation. There's a limitation to this feature though. If you are using the depth queuing tool, it will get rid of it. So all the gray effect from depth queuing is going to be removed. So it's a tool you should be careful about using. You can use it a little bit to make some lines appear more clear, but generally speaking, it can cause some problem. Now let's switch this elevation back to using hidden lines. It is possible since Revit 2019 to have materials with a dark solid fill in the background. So you can see this is a wood wall material. I'm going to go to edit type and modify this wood siding material. And let's say this is a dark wood and I would like it to appear as dark in the background. You can see the foreground pattern is this 100 millimeters horizontal lines. I'm going to add something in the background. I'm going to pick solid fill. And let's say this is good. 
And now you can see that in the elevation, this wood is going to appear darker, make it the elevation more uh, look more punchy. Although in this case, we still have the ambient shadows. So perhaps this is something I should get rid of uh, to make it look better. This video is from our design course for Revit, available on Bimpure. This teaches you how to create beauty using Revit. You'll learn all the graphic options to generate gorgeous views and presentation documents, all done directly in Revit. It explores specific kind of views, such as side plans, floor plans, section perspective, creating entourage families, and more. Design includes both an ebook PDF and video tutorials, but also Revit template and material libraries. Enroll now at beampure.com design.